Good morning. Today we will be learning about symmetry. This is a lesson for the fourth grade. First, we have our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to identify a symmetrical object and draw a line of symmetry. The standard that corresponds with this lesson is from the Common Core for grade four and says, students should be able to recognize a line of symmetry for a two dimensional figure as a line across the figure, such that the figure can be folded along the line into matching parts. Identify line symmetric figures and draw lines of symmetry. This is exactly what we will be learning today. There are a few key words in this lesson, including symmetry, symmetrical, asymmetrical, and line of symmetry. Students will be able to use this language by the end of the lesson. Throughout the lesson, these three language functions will be incorporated. Students will describe mathematical phenomena as it relates to symmetry. They will compare shapes to determine which are symmetrical. And lastly, they will classify shapes as either symmetrical or asymmetrical. So let's get started. First of all, what is symmetry? Seems like a complicated word, but the concept is actually very simple. Symmetry is when an image, shape, or object can be folded over a line into two matching halves. So if an object can be folded into two matching halves, it is considered to be symmetrical. As you can see, this heart is symmetrical because when it is folded in half, both of its sides will match up perfectly. The opposite of symmetry is asymmetry. If an object cannot be folded into two matching halves, it is considered asymmetrical. Here are a few shapes that are asymmetrical. No matter which way you try to fold these in half, they will never match up perfectly. Then we have the line of symmetry. To put it simply, this is a line that cuts an image, shape, or object right down the middle. A line of symmetry can be drawn horizontally across the image, vertically up and down the image, or diagonally across the image. Some objects only have one line of symmetry, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, while some have more than one. This image of a sun has many lines of symmetry, and it can be folded in many different ways to form two matching halves. So let's practice. Here are two identical arrows. Arrow A has a line of symmetry drawn horizontally, and arrow B's line of symmetry is drawn vertically. Which line of symmetry is drawn in the correct place? If you selected B, you are correct. If you fold an arrow from left to right across a vertical line of symmetry, both halves will match. If you fold an arrow from top to bottom over a horizontal line of symmetry, like an arrow A, the two halves will not match. Which of these shapes is symmetrical? Remember that a shape is considered symmetrical when it can be folded into two matching halves. So which of these objects can be folded into two matching halves? If you chose A, you're correct. When shape B is folded in half, its two halves do not line up. Therefore, it is not symmetrical. Shape A, since it can be folded into two matching halves, is symmetrical. And don't forget that symmetry is not only just found in shapes. It surrounds us in nature, like in animals, insects, flowers, and trees. Symmetry is often used in art, like in paintings, sculptures, and drawings. And lastly, architects use symmetry all the time. 
in houses, palaces, and monuments. So look for symmetry around you. Congratulations. You are all now masters at symmetry. Thanks for listening and keep up the good work.